Brownsburg High School is out for the summer, but rising sophomore Aiden Susek is not taking a break from making sure he is called by the right name in class. You're gonna be famous, Henry. Aiden Susek is spending his first weeks of summer playing with puppies and hanging out with his friends. School will be more comfortable environment. But he's already thinking about how it'll be when he goes back to school. I don't want Klug to be restored to that position. Former orchestra teacher John Klug speaking with RTV6's Stephanie Wade Tuesday. I feel the compelled speech of forcing a teacher to take a side on this very um, highly controversial topic is a violation of our First Amendment rights. He refused to follow a school policy requiring teachers to call transgender students by the name they prefer, not the one they're given at birth. And it just feels incorrect. To get around the policy, Susek says his teacher used last names for all students. And he started calling all of us by our last names. Like It was one of those things where he was technically treating all of his students the same, but everybody was aware of why he was doing it. We all knew that it was because of the three trans students. Aside from feeling disrespected, Susek says Klug's actions are actually harmful. He said that he doesn't want to condone students going down a path where like 20% of trans people try to kill themselves. And I don't think that he recognizes that people like him and doing things like this are the reason that 20% of trans people try to kill themselves. The 15 year old has the support of his friends and his family. Anytime you have bullying behavior you have to push back against the bullies otherwise other people think it's okay to do the same thing. This in hopes of keeping public schools safe for all students. I know he thinks he's doing the right thing but he's not listening to the actual people that this affects. Kluke says he's hoping his termination will be reconsidered. Aiden's family is planning to weigh in on the matter at Monday's school board meeting, speaking in support of the administration and its policies. Reporting in Brownsburg, Matthew McClellan, RTV6.